Illinois Fishes, Part 4. This podcast will include some basic fish anatomy. For more details or for review, please see Illinois Fishes, Part 1. Cave Fishes. These small fishes have very small or non functioning eyes, no or very tiny pelvic fins, a flattened head, anal and urogenital openings under and between the gills cycloid scales, and one dorsal fin. They have large sensory bumps on the head, body, and caudal fin which help them to compensate for their poor vision. Spring Cave Fish Cods The burbot is the only freshwater species in this family. It has an elongated body with small cycloid scales, a large head, and a long barbel at the tip of the chin. It lives in large rivers and lakes. Burbot. Mullets. Mullets are recognized by their thick streamlined body, forked tail, hard angled mouth, large scales, and two widely separated dorsal fins, the first with only four spines. They feed by swimming at an angle to the bottom and running their mouth through the sediments. Striped mullet. New World Silversides. Silversides are often found near the surface of the water. They may jump out of the water when spawning or threatened. Characteristics include an upturned mouth, flattened head, scales on the head, large eyes, no lateral line, a long snout, and two widely separated dorsal fins. Brook Silverside. Top minnows. Often found swimming near the surface, these small fishes are easy to observe. Top minnows have large eyes, a flattened head and back, upturned mouth, one dorsal fin far back on the body, and no lateral line. Black striped top minnow. Black spotted top minnow. Live bearers. The live bearers earn this name because they have internal fertilization and the female gives birth to live young. Males have a modified anal fin to help them transfer sperm to the female. General characteristics of live bearers include an upturned mouth, a flattened head, no lateral line, and one dorsal fin. Western mosquito fish. Sticklebacks Sticklebacks are small, scaleless fishes with several isolated dorsal spines along the back, followed by a dorsal fin. They are well known for their mating behavior and nest building abilities. Nine Spine Stickleback Brook Stickleback Sculpins Sculpins have a large mouth, large fan pectoral fins, one to four spines at the front of the gill cover, no or few scales, and two dorsal fins. Mottled Sculpin Banded Sculpin Slimy Sculpin Temperate Basses Temperate basses have two dorsal fins, the first with usually nine spines and the second with one spine, three anal spines, a large mouth, tenoid scales, thoracic pelvic fins, a large spine on the gill cover, and a small gill on the underside of the gill cover. These animals are popular sport fishes. White bass. Striped bass. Yellow bass. Sunfishes. Sunfishes occur naturally only in the fresh waters of North America. They are laterally compressed, have two dorsal fins that are broadly joined and appear as one fin, three to eight anal spines, thoracic pelvic fins, and tenoid scales. Sunfishes build nests and guard their young. Rock bass. Green sunfish. 
Pumpkin Seed. Warmouth. Orange Spotted Sunfish. Bluegill. Long Ear Sunfish. Red Ear Sunfish. Smallmouth Bass. Largemouth bass, black crappie, white crappie, flyer, perches. The perch family is second only to the minnow family in diversity of North American fishes. All but three species in the family are darters the other being the walleye, sauger, and yellow perch. Darters tend to live on the bottom of streams or lakes and dart about for food. They generally do not have a gas bladder. Characteristics include two dorsal fins, thoracic pelvic fins with one spine and five rays, and tenoid scales. Here are a few of their representative species. Rainbow darter. Iowa darter. Johnny Darter, Orange Throat Darter, Banded Darter, Greenside Darter, Yellow Perch, Log Perch, Walleye, Sauger. Drums and croakers. These fishes are called drum or croaker due to their ability to make sounds using the gas bladder. Drums have two dorsal fins, a lateral line that extends to the end of the caudal fin, thoracic pelvic fins, and a body that is deep and highly arched at the beginning of the dorsal fin. Freshwater drum. Pygmy sunfishes. Pygmy sunfishes have no lateral line, a round caudal fin, and are very small. Otherwise, their appearance resembles that of members of the sunfish family. Banded pygmy sunfish. Cichlids. Cichlids are popular aquarium fishes that are not native to Illinois. Cichlids have only one nostril on each side of the head and a two part lateral line with the front portion higher than the rear portion. Rio Grande Cichlid. Gobies. Gobies are characterized by a sucking disc created by the pelvic fins, two dorsal fins, a rounded caudal fin, and a blunt head with relatively large eyes and scales. Round goby.